Hi everybody, it's Andy Ford Video here and we're going to look at a throw expression. We'll demonstrate that using a baseball image that we will throw across the screen. So we positioned our baseball image over on the left, we want it to travel to the right. We will set an expression for the position property. We can bring up by hitting P and then Alt or Option click on the stopwatch to add an expression. And first we can make a variable, in this case we can call it velocity. And we're going to set this equal to the amount of pixels per second we want this image to move. Let's start with 300. We can adjust it later. Then with position, in this case, we're dealing with X and Y. We want to set what X is. So we'll have a variable X that's equal to the position of X. And as we know, in an array, X is zero. And then we're going to put the plus sign and then in parentheses, time minus endpoint. Close parentheses, then multiply that by our velocity. Now y will have set to itself. The y variable can equal position one in brackets because in an array y is one. And this is because we're just having the ball go straight across the screen. There is no upward or downward movement in this case. And then we'll return our x and y variables in an array as a standard when dealing with position. When we play this, we see the ball move across the screen at the designated pixels per second. And the reason it moves is we have time, which is always changing, right? And we're multiplying that by the speed. And the reason we subtract the endpoint here is because this will ensure that our baseball animation starts where we have the baseball initially positioned. If we take away the minus endpoint and just have time times velocity, the animation will still look the same. But if we move the layer to start at a different point in time, now the animation starts where the ball would be at one second. If we add in our minus endpoint, now the ball is going to start where it originally appeared. So that's the reason for adding the minus endpoint. Now something else you can do since this is a baseball is add in some spin or rotation. So if we hit R to bring up our rotation property, we can set an expression for rotation. And this can be very similar to the last one. We can type velocity and then we'll set this equal to a number that would represent the degrees per second we want this to rotate. We can try something like 200 and we'll make a variable R and set that to our rotation. And once again, we're going to add time minus endpoint in parentheses and multiply it by velocity, similar to what we just did on position. And in this case, we'll return R in an array. And now we have the ball spinning. And there's a quick look at the throw expression, an oldie but a goodie. Thank you.